What's up everyone, Terraquake here, and in today's video, I'm going to list off some of the most annoying things in the Pokemon games. Some of these annoyances will be obvious, while others are little nitpicks that I have about Pokemon. I'm not really sure why I'm making this video, but I just thought it would be fun to do. So, without further ado, let's begin. Moves like Wrap, Bind, Fire Spin, etc. in Generation 1. If the opponent outspeeds you, then you could literally be stuck in the battle until you die. I understand the concept that Game Freak was going for, because of course, if you were wrapped up, you probably wouldn't be able to move, but I don't think they expected for it to be so broken. Well, here's an obvious one. The amount of water in the Hoenn region. Not only that, but there's three different water type HMs that you must learn in order to progress in the game. And if you really don't know where you're going, then you could easily get lost. This is one of the main reasons why Hoenn is not one of my favorite regions. The covers of Pokemon Red and Blue saying, gotta catch them all, yet in a single copy of Pokemon Red or Blue, you can't catch all 151 Pokemon. Yes, I caught Mewtwo. Okay, now all I have to do to complete my Pokemon Blue Pokedex is catch Growlithe. Oh, f this. The Team Rocket hideout in Mahogany Town. Alright, just gotta make my way through this hideout. Hey! You walked past one of our Persian detecting statues. Now you have to battle my Zubat and Drowsy. Oh, come on! Fire types not resisting ice type moves in Generation 1. I can't tell you guys how many times this has screwed me over. My Pokemon have nearly died in these big battles just because fire somehow doesn't melt ice in the Gen 1 games. These shiny Pokemon. I mean seriously, they could have been so much better, but instead Game Freak decided to settle with these designs. Now by no means does this make me hate these Pokemon or anything, and there's definitely worse shiny Pokemon out there, but it's just so annoying knowing that these Pokemon could have had a way better shiny design than what they ended up with. Route 217 in the Sinnoh region. It's negative 10 degrees out here, and the snow is up to my waist. I just want to get to Snow Point City. Hey! I was just randomly spinning around in the snow, but then I saw you! So let's battle! Kanto's low levels in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. When I beat the champion, I'm expecting the postgame to be decently challenging, but in the Gen 2 games, Kanto is full of trainers who have Pokemon in the 30s and 40s. The only challenging battle to me in Kanto is Red. Accidentally throwing a Safari Ball in the Safari Zone. Eh, it's just another Execute. Oh shoot, I was spamming A too fast. Oh really? Now you're gonna stay in the ball. Okay, thanks a lot. For number 10, I might as well list off the one that inspired me to make this video, and that would be the fact that we have Reggie Rock, Reggie Steel, Reggie Gigas, Reggie Alecki, Reggie Drago, and then Regice. Not Reggie Ice, just Regice. Come on, why couldn't it be called Reggie Ice? Sure, it might look a little weird with the two eyes next to each other, but it would make me feel better because then it would actually be pronounced Reggie Ice. It's just so annoying. The guy that always walks in front of you during a Pokemon Red or Blue speedrun. Let's go, baby. I'm on world record pace. I just gotta get Oak's parcel. Oh, are you freaking serious? The fact that there's so many cool Pokemon in Generation 5, but they evolve at such a high level. There's been times that I've wanted to use some of these Pokemon, but since they evolve so late, I end up cutting them from the team.
In the aisle of armor, base 43 speed Vikavolt can keep up with you while riding your bike, but base 100 speed Volcarona just gets left in the dust. It just doesn't make sense. By the way, I saw a video of this, but then I couldn't find it again. But if you ever do see the video, then you'll know what I'm talking about. The worker in Lumio City telling you that there's a power outage, yet he lets random NPCs walk right by him. So tell me the truth, man. Is there really a power outage, or are you just being a freak? The amount of rival battles in Pokemon Black and White. Hey, we both have a gym badge, so let's battle! Yo, wait up! We've gotta have our 10th rival fight! Look who got another gym badge! You know what that means! Random trainers having four stores. Oh no, my Zigzagoon is at low HP. What will I ever do? Wouldn't it be a shame if I used one of my 24 stores? The level gap between the 5th and 6th gym in the Johto games. Seriously, you're expecting me to go from level 31 to 35 with no extra places to train? Of course, you do have routes 47 and 48 in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but that doesn't make the situation any better. This is probably one of my least favorite parts of the Johto games. Not being able to nickname Pokemon after they've been traded. This is a problem that I've really never understood. What if someone trades you a shiny Mewtwo, but it's named Farts McPoopyface? Then you're literally stuck with that name forever. It's so dumb. Why can't we just go to the name raider and nickname a Pokemon anytime we want, no matter the circumstances? The Pokemon Mansion. Now that I've got the secret key, I can take on Blaine. All I have to do is make my way out of here- Okay, really? Now that I've hit that switch, I should be able to head up these stairs and exit- OH MY GOSH! Alright, I've hit that switch, which should allow me to get out of here- The fact that Game Freak has teased Sinnoh remakes so much, yet they haven't brought them out yet. You know? Next year is 2021, which is also Pokemon's 25th anniversary, meaning it would be the perfect year to bring out a huge game like Sinnoh Remakes. And I swear, if they don't bring out Sinnoh Remakes next year, I will actually purchase a plane ticket and fly- So there you have it. That was 20 annoying things in Pokemon, at least in my opinion. Let me know what you guys thought of this video, and if you liked it, then I'll probably make some more videos like this one later on down the road. For now though, if you guys enjoyed this video, then drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss my next upload. And, until next time, deuces!